just having that um, flink overgrowth is going to... I am really, really worried for this Faceless Void. When you're going up against a Venomancer, which is one of the better <laughs> offlaners to, to play versus the Void, and you've got a Train Protector as well, this double slow lane, he's got all the Venom on Eris. I just... Moment. DK only got three losses. It's, it's going to be a bit more of a difficult time for DK, I think, to last it, considering Mag's advantage here with, with the damage. But... This is going to be very interesting as well, because James is going to offer a lot of tower taking uh, a threat here early, whereas the Magnus is definitely a hero that wants to continue getting a, a lot of farm farming stacks and kind of just playing in the lane. As we do see first blood though, up top, Eris with the help of Van, we're going to get the kill on top of Joe Beasy's Ancient Apparition. Yeah, I mean, you basically just can't move anywhere. Oh, this, like, he was dead, so he walks forward, he cops a right click, he's probably dead. And he's dead, yeah. Like, this is the lane. I see how they play this lane. You can oftentimes just kill yourself. Speaking of the boy killing himself, he might be in a position to die. He does have the time walk. Enough, though. He is a slow boy. We're gonna have a little play board. Reposition from Joe Beasy. Eris is level four. Like, <laughs> Oh no, this is... How many deaths he got? Oh, he's got three deaths. Oh. I mean, he's gonna go Morbid Mar, so at least it will allow him to farm the jungle. Bob as well with the Empower, but this is now like dire. They are now... Oh. Dead. Another one? No, not another. <laughs> this is... Like, what do you do here, Denok? It feels like you're just all on the... The Centaur. He's got the mask heading out to the lane for the lifesteal. Nice kill. Jamesy will fall. What was that? RP skewer under the tower to set up with the arrow. Although Eris is going to TP in. Okay, just, is he going to go for a deny? Or is it maybe even a kill? I L4. I'm really, really low. The tower will end up dropping, so they're not going to get that extra damage required. He'll miss the arrow. Nice sidestep from the tree protector. I'm a surprised that they let that go so easily. You've got a tree protector. <laughs> I guess with the chip vest, you're going to get massive value out of it. And I actually don't mind Bob's itemization too. He's going for that blink first. So I guess they've definitely communicated with Sensor going for a lot more of the tanky build instead of the ways to start the fight. So Mag's going to offer that up with his blink rush. She's going to be very, very farmed off this fat stack. Big boy, that's for sure. Well, how, how do we feel about this game? Because I was very... Though, with that Blink Dagger now picked up on the Magnus. And he's looking to go for an RP. Just the Skewer's going to be oh, enough. that was perfect precision. Skewer back into the Vortex, into the Arrow Eyes. Benzoid's coming on over as well. Ooh, nice. The Chrono finds two heroes on the edge. Van's going to end up losing his life. They've dropped the Super Nova. It's got South, but they've got to retreat away with the Overgrowth too. Locking in. Samael, as they'll end up finding three. Bob as well actually might get brought down. Poison over Sting still taking him down. Is it enough, Bob? He needs a strength trait. He's gonna get the blink away. No, just tick thanks to the fire skill positioning from Grim. And they hit back. The team fight's coming into play from either side. But they're actually smoking up heading towards the triangle. Where they might run into Jamesy. A very awkward spot. Mm -hmm. Blink away. Ah, that was the sentry positioning. Jamesy, great reaction. Reaction. A little surprised that they didn't pop the haste rune on Bob here to try and chase. This courier could end up going down. They actually spotted with the courier vision. You've got to be careful this time. This is really deep. And multiple heroes now with the fall. In Eris has got the overgrowth once again. They're gonna drop the RP, but it's a little bit too late to catch the Phoenix. And with the supernova committed, they've got to disengage. A haste will give Bob the movement speed to get back to safety. Now they've even got the stampede as well to help out with Samael. What just happened? Jamesy, they go forward, hoof some. Actually unable to get the dragon tail. Okay. Surprising. He didn't dragon tail, he didn't fire friend. That's a, that was a dead centaur. They just gave up completely. And considering how good of an early game Samael's had, that relates. Maybe that's what he was mostly concerned about. They're all just going to walk their way down. Chrono dropped here. You have to catch up the Venomancer. Arrow on the mark. And you see when the ultimates are on cooldown, they still have that Chrono as well. Down, but it does mean that Samael is 
Tools are away from the team, so Tools gonna end up falling. Are they gonna be able to come mid and, and where South built can crack this tier one tower? I mean, tower they're not set tower. up just yet, and I think they might be able to do so. I think they will. I mean, it's still super early on. Van's gonna be up in another 13 seconds, and you've got that uh, max level nature's grass. These here just with the end of the Glass and they can melt through, but a great suit to for the Western side with the overgrowth. We're gonna try and bring it down to the wing before it's attacked, but it's not but no! Supernova pops, and now they can look to turn a centaur. He'll attempt to TP out. Will he make it? No. Triple for a bar. The Spectre are getting involved thanks to the horn, and again. That observer word in a good place to be able to spot out. All these rotations are pretty ambitious too, like that. See, Bob, comes out, Sun Ray. They can also bring it down with the percent damage. Great RP with the big heavy fall, but the eye falls at the last second. Supernova's on the higher cover. The damage is starting to stack up. James will tick on forward. Bob gets the skew away thanks to the magic immunity. So it's a one for one. A lot of ultimates committed there with the high ground. That is all she wrote as the cores get back to safety. Still alive though. <laughs> That's the main He's thing. living his best life. For now, for now. They've got a full creep wave. They haven't had time to sit up with all of these wards on Van. You can just see how much more defense he's playing. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Arrows off the mark. It might actually cost them. Gotta keep in mind the BKB is also on cooldown as well. With Chrono followed up. Arrows just gonna try and waddle in forward. Living armor still on cooldown, but it's not gonna matter. The bar will rip apart the faceless <laughs> void as Ben Soy and Senki. They try and make a Q play underneath the tier one tower, but it's gonna cost them, and it might even cost them. Stop the bling. And the fight. Team Chop. So I actually got to look to take the fight head on against South Built. Not being able to bring down one target just yet with the blinking forward. They can take the ancient apparition with cold feet. Sets up the arrow. Chrono on two, but where's the follow up? Well, he can move on forward with Yarpy afterwards. Try to get a multi hero scoop with Yarpy. Hasn't used it just yet until now. They'll deal with the Aegis first life here on the Spectre. Still with the Supernova. Not being able to kill off Van. Need to have the retreat back to safety. As James is in trouble though. Dragged away from the rest of the team. It's a one for two. Make it a two for three. As it just burns. <laughs> Through Grimms out of all the heroes gets a triple. Previous game, the Spectre really trying to identify the issue of the ancient apparition. He's gonna eat a point blank arrow. He's gonna be careful now. Eris sidestep a great position with the tree protecting up with the BKB completely wasted. Eris's tree has been so on point this game. The sidestep to lock him in. They also just yet, so Bob's gonna have to TP in Ben, somehow still alive, and gets the ultimate, they haven't been able to kill just yet, now with Chrono. Chrono. Three, the guys fall, they're gonna try and commit on to James, he's not the end! He sucked him in, he keeps him alive, but can they bring it down fast enough? They can, finally! The Supernova will end up falling to Beezy! With the help tipping over Grimms, they recognize the importance of dealing with that Supernova! And now the Spirit Mitchell's out as well, Bob's RP counter up from Eris with the overgrowth, but this time, it's not enough. Finally! South Bill, they'll be able to crack the code. They've been bumping their heads. Centaur's not the easiest person to bring down. Spirit Vessel Samurai, a lot of percent damage, but look at him, barely tickled. Stamp it away. Then so he's gonna blink on forward for the event. Drops the ultimate Aeon, he's gonna protect it for a short duration. Bob's actually gonna skew him away from the face of Boy, but it's also away from any backup. Bob picks up a DD, gonna try and look to turn the arrows in the mark, but again, can you bring down the Spectre heart? Josh completed, it's gonna be very difficult. He's looking to turn, Chrono gonna end up getting dropped the both the core scrim, ready and waiting with the Supernova, who is gonna be able to save a great use of the overgrowth on the high gun as well, but now Bob follow up RP! It's on to Mulp oh, again, get him. they drop the egg, they're gonna try and leap him forward to the empty tax to grab and bring it down, they don't! This time it's gonna end up going through as a bot gets a double! <laughs> Actually ends up connecting in onto the Roche pit and launched out the AA blast for the fight. Ben Soy, on top of Ben. As long as the Ben is able to get the ultimate off, there's the horn. Stewart drags him further down to the southern side. It's gonna catch away James as well, but on top of the Reaper. I mean, Sentinel is just getting ripped apart. There's absolutely no help with the DD on Spectre. They can't man fight him.
They're gonna have to try and take this team fight a little bit differently than before. The brute force potential that we've seen from Southbrook's not gonna work. They've got to kite the Spectre. A buyback's gonna come through from both the offlaners, Bob. Oh, this is big. If they can bring him down, they don't just get some cooldown, man. That's a dieback. And they will not have the Venomancer for this Roche fight. Not without DK ulti. Oh? How did he know that was there? Aeon just popped now. He's got Ghost, he's away from getting back on the high ground. And so he's even committing on 40. Gonna drop the Chrono. Sunrace moving armor, giving him a little bit of health back, but he will still end up falling, and he actually doesn't have a buyback. But it is your Chrono Speed committed. Pop another! He's gonna catch out Jamesy, instant BKB. It's a 4 on 4 at the moment, both teams not having their offlaners. And so getting aggressive with the time off forward. He can't backtrack now. I'll be in a couple again. seconds. Disconnected from the team. As long as they can kind of cancel the blinks, which they're doing a very good job. He's going to go in with the RP, but there's no backup at the moment from a bar. He's getting kited, jumps back over. Bash is going to be there on Joe Beasy. He'll be able to bring down the Ancient Apparition, but they need the damage from the Void. He's going to be careful, though. This Blade Melt Dispersion, so Ben Soy recognizing. Can't do it directly with the Spectre. Let me catch the other supports instead. You highlighted kind of the lack of stuns, and they can just have two heroes so far away from the team. Jump on Van. Carno committed. Again, it's only a one. Eris in the back line. He's actually going to control it. But now we're going to go. He's it early to not be able to protect the supernova. Let's see if it's going to cost him. Egg on top of the high ground. Now with the RP falls as well. The Spectre. He's vulnerable at the moment without the help of the team. The Egg is going to get in a pop. No, boy. He's in trouble. The Sunray Burst is enough. They'll finally be able to bring down Ben Soy. The Semail is going to attempt the TP this stun a little bit too late. So South built too cocky. We've seen time and time again. That, look at that annoying little plague war. Just making sure you've got that, that tick damage coming through onto the Centaur. You're going to get a lot out of this. Now Ben going to be careful if they collapse. Actually, look at the face is void. Abart trying to stand his ground in man fights. I'm able for a really low the Sunray Spirit Vessel. The heart's going to do absolutely not here. Centaur will fall. He doesn't have a buyback. Now it's all on Ben Sui. But he's disconnected from the team. And the face is void just brought back. And he needs help. And Time will good aggressively. He's going to backtrack on forward. BKB pop. James is going to be able to stand his ground. But the bash is there. Where's the help? Ben Sui. The stuns are lacking. So instead, they're going to try and jump on the support. Since Muran is caught, they've got the detection, and they're able to bring him down. But an instant buyback. Bob's got to be up in five seconds, so signal. They've got to be caught. 4,500. Mag's got 3,500. Like, there's some beefy boys, and then it's just the supports as well. Speaking about them, they don't have the Phoenix, so they definitely have to be cautious. There's the buyback coming into play, but now the RP is solely on one. Ben is able to rip apart Van, but he's at least able to get the ultimate off. The buyback in see with the Chronos Feet drop. Eris, great use of the E Blade. He's able to protect off the Dragonite. So now the Chronos Feet completely wasted. That's a lot of their ultimates on cooldown. And then you need to be able to protect the faceless boy. He popped out previously. That might just be a dieback, and it is. Boy, down 120 seconds on the deck. Bob's gonna attempt the TP out as well. Do they have the damage go to? They do not. Is he gonna tick out in the base? Bob has to contest this. Really good vision. Roche is already gone. Sets up with the horse stomp. This is a really, really difficult person to be able to bring down. We've got a heart. We've got a second life. They're even going to drop the RP skewer. You might have to use Hawk. He's all the way out of the Down to the bar. Can they lock him in? Shockwave drag back. E plays there. They need to make sure they keep him up. That's the day. No, what's going on? No fire. They'll kill him off. They don't have Kono. They skew it back up at East. They should be able to keep him there. Are they going to be able to hold this? No, a bar. He tries to hold the way for they're all inside the fountain! The throne, it's exposed. James is trying to go to work, it's fully blown. They're gonna get outside the base, they will be able to do so. It's Ben. He's now gonna end up losing his life, instantly getting rid of the Aeon disc. No buyback on your Venom, but Southfield, they hold. They, they had no, no position to win this game based off of all those buybacks. All right. That's a pretty important target to bring down. He's got a buyback. But we've seen the overgrowth Radiance factor, middle even just the E blade as well, in the chrono. Radiance middle they didn't have to commit too heavily Radiance as well middle to find that kill. You gotta be careful. You don't have buyback. Radiance you might be a big, scary dragon, but you're not gonna stop them from taking your, your just the, the bottom tower. You can get a full 
Chrono. They're really disconnected right now. Well, it's been a little bit of backup on Bob, but they're making sure they're stood away from the soul of the hero RP. As Bob's gonna fly on forward. At least that ultimate choose to try and protect the face is good. But number blink in. Tomeo finds multiple. Is this the ultimate on Kuda now with the Chrono committed? Oh, yeah, this instant coats off nullifier with the ice fast connection as well. JNG has to pop the BKB, 4600 health, but are they able to bring down all this DK slide? Oh, but try and get the jump on forward with the backline of Bart. He's zoning away the extra damage that's required from Ben Soy. A time up once again back defensive. He needs the rest of the team to be able to kick the faces for the liar, but he's actually going back in. Ben Soy, you crazy man. They're going to try and drop the supernova, but the abyssal blades out to lock him in with the e blade forward as well. They're unable to deal with the egg. No, but the sun really burns him to a crisp. They'll lose the Mirana. So Mayo's going to end up falling as well. All you have to do is hope that South will have buybacks for another crazy defense. But they are four down. Stay in power. Alright, all buybacks. So careful now, Dyer. They just have five lives, whereas Radiant, they've got eight with their buybacks available. Nice blast, Jesus. Without the Chrono. They're trying to take a point down, Jamesy. They force the BKB. The other game goes. Where's the extra control? And they're actually doing the same thing. He's going to screw with the back. They do the defense. It's Voy. He's down. That's a dieback for him. Bob as well. Just getting completely controlled. The slows through the BKB. Who dropped the RP. But Eris an instant follow up. And that should be all she wrote. Spectre, he doesn't care that he's so disconnected from the team. 5,300 health, some more old chance, but my, my boots are busy. You're out of this game, son. You're going to end up losing game one, 55 minutes in, no fire. Van playing this Lesh, who we talk about shards, their cores can do a really good job of pushing towers or just, you know, splitting oh, sides. Uh, then, <laughs> that Dawn. is questionable. I'm not sure about the Storm's just thing, because I think that... Well, exactly what I was going to bring up. I mean, that is very scary to run into a split earth setup. With that Nyx assassin stun, meanwhile, Bob gets solo killed and they lose. Okay, I'm I'm all on signal ultra, baby. I I never said to have to. Thank you. I, I think you, there's no alternate build. <laughs> I think you just need to run this battle. James, he, he just got another solo kill. And that's with not Zanky just there. solo. That's what Zanky. Being able to pick up this uh, Ooh, this stack here. It's under attack. Very yeah, strength as well. It's a bit closer, he might even be able to pick up the fact that this is one. He's got four points bring fire. Round <laughs> <laughs> bot. You lose Ben so it's a double for Van. We're keeping our tabs on James you right now. This Dragonite is a thorn in their side. Three kills across the map. Radiant this second game. <laughs> it's what she even gets. said I was all on signal. Oh. It's got some reinforcement in Van and Green. Oh, no. Can they even kill off Eris? What? Bob's down again. JB is down too. And Ben Sully also revealed himself, so he's going to be pretty careful. Van's tanking with his abilities. You know, trying to get the components into the mechanism. And that's your full depth on the Drow Ranger. This one, it's just. Game one was close. So now it's just hitting a tier one tower. There seems to be quite the disconnect in this game. I think it's a case of... I mean, I would honestly do that. He just needs to make space. He needs to give them something to be able to get any kind of farm on this storm. See, he's like not even spending the time to each creep there, so it makes sense for him to be in this lane. They're trying to catch out the six assassin, but... Oh, nice stun. Back and forth, impaled, along with the spy carapace. Finally, Southfield are going to be able to pick up a kill after a while, and it's also Bob finding that one. Feeling himself now. Zipping on board underneath the tower. He's got to be careful to drop the Ravage clipping on two, so it's going to stop James's follow-up with the counter. Now he's going to back up and available to kill him off. Ben Soy is in no man's land. I mean, at least he's got a force, but a bar can instantly close the distance. And the Antimage making sure that the Drow has nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. As it's four down on South Bill. I don't think they'll get the tide. I say that though. Yeah, James has got no backup, so. The male. I don't think he care. Just, just leave him. Let him do his thing. He doesn't have Ravage. He's no threat. 
Or a couple more kills as well. They might be able to bring down the Nyx Assassin with a quick use of the finger. There is some reinforcements coming over to look to punish. Set up towards a bob. They're able to get the zip back Radiant's to safety and signal with the blink on cooldown. They won't be able to follow up. Bob's gonna be nearly on his start. He's gonna be like a 20 round. Are they thinking about it? Winfrey. Jamesy is a difficult beast to bring down. 2700. Oh, no, but it's a ravage on three. They're still trying to target the Dragonite. I don't think that's a hero you want to kill off. But even though the less track, he's got Eternal Shroud along with the mechanism. So who do you actually kill right now from South Building? Well, the answer is no one. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to jump in, Jamesy blinking once again. The curse is available. The Dragon Tail stun to Daisy. Can he get it off in the nick of time? He can. He's going to lock in the anti mage DK falling incredibly low with the Splinter Blast. He's going to claim the kill. But the stuns are on cooldown. And Benzer is going to dive. The out of mana here on Van, so the damage is a bit lacking. A big old oh, mana void. But Zenki's got the fall up. They need the damage from the Drow Ranger. Shipping him all the way clean of the no mana. mana. Now a Bard's going to be careful if they can hold him back, which they won't be able to. They really needed that damage there from the Drow, and they will be able to keep a Bard's anti mage alive. They still might have killed there if they used it on uh, the Mana Void onto the Drow instead. He had slightly less than the Wyvern did at the time, so... Oof. I mean, it, it was something, that's for sure. <laughs> Some Mail Card for the Body Blocks onto Aerith. She's got the BKB coming out to her now, so they might be trying to make a big play. Now, she's got the Ravage. It's paired up with the Curse, so she's gonna overlap the ultimate, so still evaporate the Ancient Apparition. Now with the Mana Void, that's only used on Zenki, but they need to make sure they close the distance on top of the Drow Range. So Ben Soy with the BKB has got the pike as well. Makes it down to the Ground with the bar. Ah, ah, you ain't going anywhere. Great use of the counter spell as well. Insulin reflects off the Earth Spike. That's a die back on your line. And up they go onto the high ground. And Mother Stun locking in Joe Beezy. That's going to be the third death here on Southfield. Ben's going to be pretty careful as well, because they might actually just end up turning to kill off the Storm Spirit next. Bob completely out of mana and is out of health as well as it's a triple for a bar. God like 15,000 gold behind. The way you're gonna win this game is pushing early and having a, a big anti mage double the network of the trail. It's not even a hundred percent probability as well. It's two supports are gonna end up falling. They're just they're doing whatever they can to try and shove out these lands. I mean, Storm just long zip in mid, beyond godlike here. They're finding another Jamesy. Proud Ben Soy. He's got a pike and BKB, but the stoker yeah. Jamesy means that he has to TP up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that just tells the tale of this game. <laughs> oh, no way. No I mean, he's got ages picked up. Alright, here we go. Big winner's curse, but this is I mean, she could use it on Eris. Probably not the last, she's already got Edith. I'm just gonna try and run on forward to drop the Ravage. The great counter. DK with his own rebuttal locks back the draw range. That's a lot of the damage here from South Bill. And you see with the DK's positioning, it's just Ben Soy. He can't do anything without any marksmanship procs. The damage is lacking, especially when no finger of death is going to fly out there. So that's the Ravage down, Curse down as well. And that is all she wrote. Unfortunately, here for their hopes of qualifying to TI 10 will be no longer. South Bill will be our third Southeast Asian team eliminated. You hate to see it, but you love to see some of this coordination coming through.